on Cynthia Moga. Uh, she's kind of remorseful now. She said, I allow the hurt and pain from past dealings take over my emotions. Mm -hmm. um, I admire this in as much as um, she should have thought of her actions, but I admire the fact that even after she made a mistake, she came out to say, okay, I had time to reflect and this is what I think I did wrong and mm -hmm. I could have handled things better. But what do you guys think? I agreed. Um, she said it really well. I like that she's ended up thanking them for their, the, I guess, the good part of their relationship. And it's always nice to have that balance. I mean, exactly. it's not, she's not saying that they're perfect and that, you know, she takes, she's taking everything back. But she's saying that with everything, there's a good and there's a bad side. And I think it takes maturity to be able to see things from mm -hmm. that light. That not everything is very straightforward and 100% mm -hmm. something. So it's nice that they were able to do that. In regards to the defamation of Jude Okoye, which was the subject matter at hand, that what she's actually like painting him in a really bad light. I think this does enough justice because I think both their images are impacted in the same way. I've mentioned this before. I think I'll be very worried if I was an artist, um, one mm. is signed by Jude, and I think I'll be very worried as an artist manager if I'm going to sign um, Cynthia Morgan. Or either. Mm -hmm. So this makes a, a good balance, and I hope for the best in regards to her. We talked about it before where we suspected that those drug issues. I think we talked about yeah. the off show where there were like possible, you know, allegations about her drug issues and things like that. So I'm not, we're not saying that Cynthia is, you know, an, a, an angel, but I'm, she, she, she sounds intro, like someone has done a lot of introspection. I and mean, there's always good that comes out of that. So I'm mm. happy for her. I think my biggest take from this story is to always wait for the full picture, always wait for the full story. Mm -hmm. For a lot of people that already, you know, jumped on the Cynthia Morgan background, that were already defaming Jude and, you know, insulting him, and then the way the whole story Including played... Peter. <laughs> Including Peter. <laughs> the way the whole story played um, along the week, because the same people that supported her were the same people that dragged her yesterday. All throughout yesterday, Cynthia Morgan was trending. The same people that were shouting, oh my God, I can't believe I donated money. How can I get, <laughs> how can I get my money back from <laughs> GoFundMe? You know, there were a lot of funny reactions. So I'll just say that people need to actually wait to, uh, especially when it comes to situations like this, relationship between artists mm. and their record labels i think mm. we should always wait for the full picture to understand the story properly mm -hmm. because even since when this um story started i was already saying that if you look at it critically from jude okoye's perspective he's acting as a businessman yeah mm -hmm. you cannot invest in something and not want to get your money back yeah, it's, it's the simple was like, mm -hmm. but, but then at the end of the day the contract came out and it was it was a 50 50 well, no okay so um i yesterday on the show mm -hmm. i said that um, it was a fair contract but yeah. i went back i went to read the contract all over again and then this time i opened my legal eyes to mm -hmm. see it yeah and um I could I could see the shadiness, you know, there's some underlining claws here and there that are really controlling and doesn't mm. really give a, a lot of room. It, it seemed, if it was a normal contract, it would look like an 80-20 kind of contract because mm. if you're saying 360 deal on endorsements, concerts and all of that come on, that's quite a lot. Mm. And then what Cynthia was actually saying to was true because it's a 50 50 deal but if you're paying 50 million naira for my video i'm to pay back the 25 million first then we'll now still split the returns on the video that's quite a stretch and that is why artists need to have what lawyers when they're signing yeah. this contract so at the end of the day what we are taking from this story and i hope that other artists who are young and want to be in the industry mm. if you want to sign with any record label ensure you have a lawyer i don't have money to ensure you have a lawyer it's more important mm. that you have a a lawyer during the contract signing than for you to now become a big artist and then you have yeah. to settle all of this or you're losing your name mm. or your that's like my biggest take from this story number one always wait until you have the full picture the bigger picture before you jump on anybody's yeah. sides and for entertainers or for artists make sure you have a lawyer and with then you also when you the, want to sign uh, the fact that Jude was saying that she he, she couldn't legally take her name was also bs because that's not even her birth name her birth name isn't cynthia morgan it's a stage name because when she signed this letter, she didn't use Cynthia Morgan as her real name. Mm. And then with the lawyer that we spoke to said it is very possible to hold his stage name if you sign somebody under that. So yeah, we saw that with Kiss Daniel. Yeah, exactly. It's, he had to change his name. Yeah, so there is a lot of um, controversy around that. But I think we've said everything we need to say on the stage. Yeah, to be to honest. Yeah. All right, but I just admire what Cynthia did because at the end of the day, you need to know when you're wrong and when you've had a solid reflection True. and then you can come back and say that, okay, I was wrong, I was wrong. Now yeah. I'm no, sorry. No, people this do that. Not a lot of people do that. But what if this was just 
all the attention she needed for a yeah, bounce she back. I, I, you see, I would like to believe that, but I feel like she would have pushed her name a lot further if that was the thing. Because Cynthia Morgan is trending, not... Mada, Mad the Madrina. The Madrina. Um, if there was a, because my worry is that even when she swaps to the Madrina, she'll have to do another PR stunt in regards to that because that to name be is not catchy. That At name all. is not pleasant. And I people like, like Madrina. Cynthia, Madrina. Mo Cynthia Morgan a lot more. So, um, I, it's hard for me to believe that. Mm. All right.